what's up everybody welcome back to headbangers closet appreciate all you guys tuning in this is another story time episode this is the story of how i got the most rare item in my collection so to really kind of get the story going let's go back in time a little bit to the late summer of 2016. metallica is set to release hardwired to self-destruct later on that fall it came out november 18th 2016. but for the late summer they had just released the video and single hardwired and they went and played a show in Minneapolis, Minnesota on August 20th, 2016, which happened to be my birthday. So, of course, got permission from the wife to fly out there to see the show. They played in the brand new uh, Minnesota Vikings like, Dome Football Stadium. Here's a CD from that show. Really cool uh, artwork there, like a spoof on the Minnesota Vikings uh, football team logo. Really, really cool. I got this CD off LiveMetallica.com. Uh, what was really great about the show, besides just being on the rail for seeing Metallica for my birthday, uh, was cool that they did the live debut of Hardwired. Like I said, the single was kind of out there, and I believe Moth into Flame was also out at that time. Uh, they didn't play that, though. Uh, they just played Hardwired. So after that, Metallica kind of embarks on sort of a promotional tour to kind of get their name out there, build some momentum for the album that was going to come out later that fall. They did a couple of South American dates, full shows, South American dates in October. In September, they did like the Global Citizens Festival. They did like a, a TV show. Uh, they did Howard Stern, Jimmy Kimmel Live, The Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon. And on September 27th, 2016, they played the famous Webster Hall in New York City. And some of these Webster Hall dates, and there's another date in Toronto they did at a club, they were sort of not last minute announcements and then tickets, but it was like not a whole lot of turnaround between the time the show was announced, tickets going on sale, and the show happening. So I didn't even try to get tickets to any of these shows. In fact, when I came back from Minnesota, my wife was like, you know what? Cool it a little bit on the Metallica stuff. She knew there was going to be an album coming out that fall and knew I was going to go on tour when they did an American tour uh, in support of that album. So she's like, let's cool it with Metallica for a little bit. You don't need to go see all these club shows. And I was like, you know, damn, because... Seeing Metallica in a club or a theater, it's a really, really cool experience. Uh, but anyway, this is the Webster Hall Show, September 27th, 2016. It's a three LP set. There's the picture of the guys thanking the crowd, uh, and then the set list. So these shows are really, really cool. They had a really neat set list. You had all, obviously, like the classics, the greatest hits, but they threw in a couple of deep tracks as well. And then each show, they would play a song or two off the up. You know, th what was going to come out on Hardwire. So here's a picture of the band playing and then the set list. Check out how close the crowd is to the stage. Uh, more so than a regular like stadium or arena show. And also check out the stage. It's no Other than the guys, just the drum kit and then those white cabinets right there. So that was, that's kind of neat. Um, like I said, this is a 3 LP set. It's just the Metallica M in silver. Pretty cool. I'll go over the set list right quick with you guys just because I want to kind of get that get that out there so all right so the set list is pretty cool like I said they come out with bread fan right away it's my favorite Metallica show opener of all time brings me back to the summer 94 summer 98 tour when they were doing those outside amphitheaters opening with bread fan so you get bread fan holier than now which is a pretty cool deep cut Battery, Harvester, Fade to Black, Moth to Flame, Sabbath True, Orion, another rare deep cut, uh, One, Puppets, Bells, Sandman, and then they go out, come back for the encore. It's Whiskey in the Jar, Hardwired, and Seek and Destroy. So you get two songs, Moth to Flame and Hardwired from the upcoming Hardwired to Self-Destruct album, and then you get a couple of deep tracks, Holier Than Now and Orion, and I guess some people would even consider Harvester a deep track as well. So really cool set, really cool show. Right around that time, they announced another one of these shows. December 17th, Saturday in Oakland, California at the Fox Theater. Again, I didn't get tickets. My wife was like, you know, cool it with the Metallica stuff. But my buddies did try for tickets and they got them. So I was at work one day and they texted me and said, hey, we got four tickets. One of them is yours if you can get it, if you can go. We know your situation with the missus. Talk it over with her. We'll give you a couple of days to figure out whether you can go or not. So... I go home, and I'm like, hey, babe, your hair looks nice. You get a haircut today, and I'm laying it on real thick, right? And she's like, 
What'd you do? What did you, you know, you cheat or something, you know? Um, but no, she's like, you know, what are you, what are you buttering me up for? I'm like, well, you know, the guy's got an extra ticket from Metallic in Oakland and it's mine if I can go. And she's like, you're an asshole. I told you to cool it on Metallica for a little bit. I was like, I know, I didn't buy the ticket. Didn't even try, but they got one. And it's mine if I can go. And she's, you know, I could tell she was feeling pretty guilty if she didn't let me go. So she's like, look, this is your Christmas gift and your next birthday gift for me. So go do it. And I was like, oh, thank you, love you, you know, you're the best. And so I told the guys I can go. And it, we were really excited, you know, go back to San Francisco, which we've been to a bunch of times, uh, to see Metallica there in their hometown, so to speak. So we're really excited. So fast forward a few more weeks, and uh, November 17th, the band is in the UK doing like a radio, a TV show. They play like four or five songs for the TV show. The very next day, the album comes out, uh, November 18th, 2016. They play the House of Vans in London, England. So you check it out right there. It's like a, if I'm not mistaken, it's a skate park. Uh, like under, under, maybe, I don't know, I could be wrong. I think it's a skate park. Anyway, but check it out. It's like a dome. Sort of looks like an airplane hangar. Uh, this show is on YouTube. Highly recommend checking it out. It's really cool. Professional uh, video and audio. The crowd's right on top of the band. It looks really, really fun. Um, real small, narrow, like, kind of corridor, flat, you know, general admission, standing room only type of deal. Looks like a really, really cool show to be at. And some of my buddies were there. If you look really close and on that video on YouTube, you can see Nick Lloyd and Steve Gill um, in the front. So that was really cool. It's a gatefold. Check it out right there. Again, notice the cabinets, just the white cabinets and the drum, drum kit on the stage. This is another three LP set. Picture of the guys in the band. Just look how close they all, they, you know, the, they are to the fans. And then here's the other side of the liner. Really, really cool. And just like the Webster Hall, it's just the, the, the Metallica M logo, but this time it's blue. So that's really, really cool right there. Uh, again, another three LP set. We'll go over the set list with you guys right quick here. Put this back in. All right, so the set list is fairly similar. You get a couple of different songs, but just go over the different ones. You get Four Horsemen instead of Holy the Now. You get Battery instead of Harvester. Um, but they play Atlas Rise, Moth into Flame, and Hardwired. So that's cool. You get three songs off the album that was come out that day. Uh, so the, the encore is the same. Whiskey, Hardwired, Seek and Destroy. Uh, another really, really cool show. Highly recommend checking that out on YouTube. It's a really good watch. Uh, so comes time for me to go to Oakland for the show. We fly into San Francisco, and it's just me, Jason Garkowski, Jason Keaton, and uh, this other guy, Dave. We're just partying in San Fran. Obviously, we got to hit Tommy's Joint, the old Metallica hangout, drink a bunch of beer there, eat, hang out just like Metallica did back in the uh, early and mid-80s, go and see the famous bathroom where, you know, they took Jason to that place to drink, see if you could hang, the famous bathroom where James, Kirk, and Lars go to kind of take a piss and see if, you know, hey, Jason seems cool, we're going to tell him he's in the band, you know, kind of famous, you know, bathroom, so obviously we, obviously we had to check that out. We go to Metallic HQ, we're hanging out in front of HQ, looking down you know, the loading dock area, you can see all the artwork that James had done, you know, his graffiti and his art on the side of the wall. Kind of hoping that some people would come out and give us guitar picks, um, like we had heard they did during the Fillmore 30th anniversary shows, uh, but didn't happen. But it's still cool to just be in front of HQ, it's just standard like office building looking thing, uh, nothing too fancy about it, but it's kind of cool to see. Uh, so we make our way to the show. Here is a picture of yours truly. Check it out. There's the marquee, Metallica, December 17th, blah, 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 sold out. Really, really cool looking. Of course, I had to wear my Georgia Bulldog cap. Here's a ticket. Here's my ticket. You can't really see, but it's Oakland, so uh, really cool. Great show. Really cool venue. Um, just a small-ish kind of theater. Um, I'm going to tell you guys the set list here. I'm going to pull it up right quick. Uh, so it's a... Smallish type of theater it was really cool, kind of narrow, goes down, kind of sloped slightly down the stage, and in front of the stage is like a maybe a, a, a kind of a general admission standing pit area. Then you walk up some stairs as you're going towards the bar that's in the middle of, of the floor, and there's a rail, and I'm right on that rail, and I'm overlooking the, the people that were on the pit, so I can see right over them to the stage, and just like the other shows, Webster Hall and House of Vans, nothing but the drum kit. 
and some white cabinets on. They're just real bare, small stage. They come out and they go right into Bread Fan. And honestly, I think this is the best set list out of the three shows um, that were, or the four shows really, Toronto, Webster Hall, House of Vans, and this one, were the four main uh, theater club style promo shows they would do it. Uh, so they come out Bread Fan, Creeping Death, and Blackened. Right off the bat, three of my all-time favorite Metallica songs. So I'm like loving it. Like I said, I got a great standing room to check it out. They go into Sabbath True, Fade to Black, and Atlas Rise. That's the first song off the new album, which had already been out a little bit by this time. We had already known and loved all the songs, obviously, singing along. So it was great. Then you go to Harvester, and then you get another new one, Moth into Flame, which sounded amazing. One, Puppets, Bells, and then Enter Sandman. Just like the other shows, they go off, they come back, the Encore, Whiskey in the Jar, Hardwired, and they end with Seek and Destroy. Great show. Had a blast. They go off the stage, you know, all the Metallica fan club guys, like myself, you know, all of us, the Met fam. Uh, we get together and do a group photo, and we're all buying merch. I picked up this t-shirt. It's got the Oakland Fox Theater right there in the picture. It just says Oakland, California, and the date. These were the city-specific t-shirts that we would see later on when they would do the Hardwired uh, World Tour. So, pretty cool. Didn't really see anything else other than that uh, merch. Did see a couple of show posters on the wall, which was really, really cool, but I didn't see any for sale. Uh, the show poster, the, since the show was in Oakland, it was basically a new take on the 1991 Day on the Green promo poster, which I actually have that poster. Um, it's tucked away somewhere because it's huge and it's in a really large tube. I haven't framed it yet, but here it is. This is it. So basically this is the see Queensryche and Faith No More and Metallica, 1991 Day on the Green. It's the snake coming out of the water, going around the Golden Gate Bridge. And that's the 1991 Day on the Green show poster. Uh, so pretty cool. So this was like a new spin on that poster. So pretty cool, uh, but I didn't see any for sale. So said our goodbyes, flew home. To this day, I've seen 71, maybe 72 Metallica shows, and this Oakland Fox Theater show was one of the best, in the, easily in the top five or six all-time Metallica shows I've seen. It was that great of a show. Such a cool, intimate setting, reminding me a lot of the Fillmore 30th anniversary shows uh, in 2011. So really enjoyed that one. So about three or four weeks later, I get a text from my buddy, and he's like, hey, shoot me your address. I got something I want to send you. And he's a fellow Metallica collector. And, um, you know, I send him my address and I don't hear anything. In fact, I kind of forgot all about it. And about two months later, so we're talking like early summer, really, um, maybe like late spring, early summer of 2017, I come home from work and there's a huge box, you know, UPS package by the front door. So I go grab it. It's pretty, pretty big and it's pretty darn heavy. So I'm like, you know, it's addressed to me. I'm like, what the hell is this? Open it up, and I'm like, holy crap. So my buddy had known how much I wanted that poster and had sent me one. Here it is. It's fully framed. It came fully framed. He framed it with glass and everything. Hold on, let me turn off the monitor. We cinematography here, guys. We're not professionals. Here it is. Just like that day on the green, it's the snake coming out of the water by the Golden Gate Bridge. It says metallic, and I don't know with the reflection if you can see or not, but it says December 17, 2016, Fox Theater, Oakland, California. And there's the Halo on Fire, which is obviously one of the songs off Hardwired, so that's a pretty cool new modern touch to that old style uh, show poster from 91. Really, really cool. It's pretty damn heavy. It's, it's thick glass. Matted, obviously, with a black uh, matted background with a little bit of white matting in there as well. Looks really, really cool. Uh, so that's the most rare item in my collection. Let me turn it around here so it doesn't get broken. Um, I'm not going to... I don't want to say who sent it to me. There is a little bit of controversy surrounding this poster, um, mainly that we don't know how many legit copies there were. Only saw two in the venue. So this could be... A, a legit copy. It could be a reprint. Even if it is a reprint, it's still pretty damn rare. I, like I said, never seen any collector post something for sale. I've never seen another collector post that they've actually had one before. So it's pretty damn rare. Uh, definitely not like, you know, two in the world, but maybe I'm thinking like around like one out of like 10 maybe in the world. I'm thinking could be wrong. Um, 
could be lesser, it could be more, I don't know, but I don't want to give the guy's name. He's a really great friend of mine. He's a fellow Metallica a fan and a collector. He knew how much I loved that poster. He knew that a few Christmases prior, my wife had bought me um, from Wolfgang's vault the original 1991 Day on the Green poster, and it's, it's much bigger than a regular size poster. Uh, so he knew how badly I wanted this, and he sent it to me, you know, took the time and the money to mat it, frame it himself, and send it to me, so I'm really appreciative. Um, I wanted to show you guys this because it's my rarest item in the collection. Per I might get some shit from other collectors because of this. Like I said, it's a little bit of a controversy, which I don't really want to get into too much, but I don't know. I think it's a really cool item. I'm really excited to have it in my collection. I'm really thankful and appreciative of my buddy sending me this. It really means a lot to me. So I just wanted to show you guys that. Um, hit that like and subscribe. You know, did you see that House of Vans show on YouTube? Do you own any of these shows on vinyl, Webster Hall, House of Vans? Did you check out any of the Metallica promo shows for Hardwired? Leave me a comment down below. Like I said, hit that like and subscribe, and I'll have another video for you guys coming very soon. As always, cheers.